I've already shuffled down. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you, between you and your person. Well, we got the two of cups and it's with the star. Now, this Two of Cups can be about the ideal partner, the perfect mate. And this is how the both of you felt about each other, especially your person. You gave this person a lot of hope, renewal. You gave this person inner clarity with the star card here. Yeah, this person felt rejuvenated every time they were with you. But that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Let's move, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Knight of Cups and it's with the Queen of Wands. So Knight of Cups, this is telling me your person could be wanting to communicate with you. Knight of Cups comes rushing in, being very romantic and sensitive. You could be dealing with someone who's who is an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands here, very determined about you, this, this person is. They're very determined about the connection. This person could be egotistical, used to getting what they're, used to getting what they want. Yeah, here they come. If you're wondering if you're going to hear from them, yes, you will. Knight of Cups comes rushing in. And yes, you will. This person will be very determined. Very determined. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Ace of Wands. And it's with the Eight of Cups. Now, the Ace of Wands can be about powerful new beginnings. If you take a look at the Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word challenge. It looks like this wand is sitting above the clouds, but no, it has burst above the clouds. Very powerful. Very powerful and strong. Forceful. So, that's how you could be feeling these days. You want a new beginning. You want a new lease on life. You could be wanting a new beginning with someone. You could be wanting a new beginning with someone else or just overall, just a new fresh start. You're ready for a new day. And because it's with the Eight of Cups, the card that's below the word challenge, well, this is, this is telling me that you're ready to walk away, Capricorn. You're ready to leave this connection behind. Yeah, but you've got some someone that really wants to be with you. They really do with the Queen of Wands here. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Eight of Swords. And it's with the Six of Wands. Yeah, so this Eight of Swords. The card that's above the word outcome. It can be about being or feeling like you're in a mental prison. You could start to overthink things. But your person, Six of Wands, wow. They feel that the two of you make magic together. Or when, they with, or when they're with you. It feels like magic. Six of Wands is a, is a victory, recognition, wanting success type of card. Yeah. It's all about victory. This is how your person is feeling. They want victory with you. Yeah, when they wave their wand in the air. They want you to wave your wand in the air, too. 
or this is, this could have been how the connection used to be with this person. You two mirrored each other or it felt so great. The two of you fed off of each other energetically. Six of Wands, the card that's below the word outcome. You get a lot of great sexual energy, energy with the Six of Wands. So, your person could be uh, having a lot of passion for you. Yeah, Capricorn, a lot of passion. For some of you, with the Eight of Swords here, you, for some of you, you feel trapped. You feel trapped by this person, by the connection, or something could be going on in this connection that's making you feel trapped. But your person sees things totally different. Yeah, this person is in it to win it. I don't see any obsession cards here, but I'm getting this person could be obsessed with you about having the connection, keeping it going. But yeah, you're in your head and you're, you could be overthinking things. You're holding yourself back. You want a new day, a fresh new start. For some of you, you might want to feel like going towards someone else. Because you're walking away. Where are you going? Eight of Cups here is walking away. Abandon, abandonment is the Eight of Cups. So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.